Hey friends, this is Quest and Current, and today I wanted to talk about HDMI cables, connectors, and how to test them. For this, I brought four different HDMI cables. The first one here is one I got of eBay a while ago. This one is my daily driver, and it's an Amazon Basics HDMI high speed with Ethernet. This one is a 4K UHD, and it's a really thin cable from Tuso. And this one is an HDMI 8K cable, um, which I recently got, and it's a really rigid and, and worthy feeling cable. So let's first start with the cheap eBay cable. So we can take a look at what pins are actually connected and what pins you actually need to get a signal across. So what you can see on this cable is that it immediately shows that there are some missing pins because the red LED is lighting or lit and we can see that one, two, three, four of the connector LEDs are not lit. This means that this cable is actually not according to the HDMI spec but it is still working at least in my case and that is due to the fact that the four pins missing here are all the shield pins for the TDMS channels. So in total there are four TDMS channels, the zero, one and two channel and also the clock channel and really cheap cables don't feature the shielding pins for for those differential pairs so TMDS actually stands for transition minimized differential signaling and always needs a pair of cables like the plus and minus and it's a um, it's a accompanying shield the S pin and this cable actually saves on all of them it just has one shield the general shield down here which means that this cable is probably not going to work in, in high noise environments and environments where you actually have some crosstalk from, from other inputs. What this cable features is, um, for example, the, the other pins, the CEC pins for the consumer electronics control, and for example, the DDC pin, the DDC dot and clock, which is just the display data channel and it features an I squared C bus um, inside the HDMI cable to do some special functions which is required by the HDMI consortium. But now we want to take a look at a good cable, um, the Amazon Basics cable and I want to note that I haven't been paid by Amazon, I had to pay for this on my own and no one else paid me to do this. So let's connect this and you can hear my honest review. Um, we can see that there are no pins missing, so all of the LEDs are lit. And it says that um, the cable can actually do HDMI version smaller than 1.3 and HDMI larger or equal than version 1.4. So this includes uh, HDMI 2.0, 2.1, AB, whatever they are called right now. Um, this is due to the fact that up to version 1.4, the HEAC plus pin, which you can see here, was just optional. So there was one pin in this connector of the HDMI cable that was actually not used. So they reserved it for um, the newer HDMI versions and that's why you can differentiate between those two. Um, what your cable can actually do in terms of if it's 1.4 or 2 or if you can feature some, some resolutions or a certain um, mode you want to operate it in, largely depends on if the devices connected to, to it can actually agree on a resolution. So this is dependent on the bandwidth the cable can actually do. And this, you know, always changes depending on, on the environment and only cables that are up to spec can feature all the different resolutions for all the different noise environments that you have at home or at your workplace or in some steel factory that features crazily large electric motors or something like this. So. Now you know where this is my daily driver and let's disconnect this cable and what you can see here the third cable um, it actually says 4k UHD um, to so but if we connect it um, let's take a look we can see that actually a lot of the pins are missing so not only um, like in the last pin last cable the oh not the last cable the first cable the eBay cable the shield ones but also the ground pin so um, 
This means that <laughs> this cable, um, although being really thin and flexible and, and nice to connect to, is even <laughs> less in spec than the cheapest cable I could cut of eBay, which means that due to the fact that there is no ground connected in, inside the cable and we cannot use it, um, the connected devices cannot actually use the 5 volt rail um, from from your your um, upstream host and have to provide their own power. This means that some of the devices may actually not work and a lot of them will actually you display some, some funky behavior or you know just cut out at some point if, if some something in the room next to it turns on or something like this. Um, again, this cable says just missing pins because it's not according to spec. The fourth and last cable I wanted to show you is this HDMI 8K. And although I cannot verify if the cable actually supports 8K resolution, mainly due to the fact that I don't even have a device um, that can do HK, 8K uh, resolution, I still wanted to connect it. And you can already feel it being really rigid, so I can actually believe that this cable is a good cable. And if we take a look at the front here of the connector, the HDMI connector, we can see that they molded it in red plastic, so probably to actually tell you that this is an expensive cable. Um, because I haven't read the standard um, up to this point, so whatever. And yeah, so this is a good cable, all the pins are connected, um, all the LEDs are lit, it says um, it, it can do 1.3 and 1.4, although if the connector says that it can do HK, 8K, then it has to be at least 2.0 or 2.1, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but we cannot actually test it. With this tester, we have to connect it to two devices and actually um, let them find that out. So <coughs> I hope you now know a bit more about the HDMI connector, the cables, and what can be done um, with them. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Thanks.